Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you. This time is going to be on Lion's Knight Castle Fire Pit that we have right here to my right. Uh, we've been working on these structures, these two structures here, for the past few videos. And uh, I thought it'd be really nice to finally put, like, you know, again, you know, helping you guys just understand that, you know, sometimes maybe just take a blueprint and see what you could do to it with a, with a kit. And uh, I, I basically took what we learned from this and this and previous builds and put it all together into a custom build. You can see right here, staying true to uh, Dizzle's cozy uh, village builds that he likes to do. All right, this is complete functional uh, survival. Um, I'm gonna call this Lion's Knight Castle Starter Base, guys. Take a, uh, take a walk around, as you can see, we're bringing in elements that we've used in previous builds. Traditional digital storage shed in there. This is coming in from over there. This structure with attached to the castle is what we've learned from over there. The front of this and that structure are these two right here, okay? This is just the markers for where the fire pit's gonna go, guys, okay? But again, nice little courtyard in here. Crafting bench. Guys, this build, I put plenty of storage in, okay? Plenty, as well as we did a little bit of uh, decorative uh, pieces going on in here. We have the uh, as the typical what Dizzle likes to put the sleeping quarters with storage. Bring in some uh, Lion's Knight Castle kit stuff for decoration. All right, some more storage here. This particular stair, guys, this is Kabooms. I will link that in the tutorial. This came in handy. I'm gonna try and go slow. Please take it to the top and then I'll jump down, all right? The downside, it does take a lot of uh, pieces, but it gets you up there, okay? And then over here, I brought in the essence table, some more decorations. And then over here, we've done this on our starter camp. Dizzle storage shed. I put in the large guys. Look, we have four this time in here. So it's really great to see again, just taking that idea guys, and then now taking it to a custom level with things you've learned. It is possible. I really like how my builds have come along. Like they, they're, they're evolving guys. I personally think I really like this one. This is, I, I think the last one I said that I really like was the dojo, but I think this is probably one of my favorite builds to date. Again, with the kit that a lot of people did not like, but Dizzle likes it. The half walls, windows, guys, I've been asking for these for a long time. We got those in. I think this looks great. I don't have them all the way around. Wasn't over, overly using them. I had them on this side, but I took them out because you know what? I'm like, you are going to put these, uh, these berries in anyways, and it breaks breaks up the uh, the design a little bit of the noble. But I really like this a lot. This turned out great. Again, we're in survival. This is functional to be in survival. Well, let's get this fire pit started. These are my markers. First, guys, you're gonna obviously you're gonna center your fire pit wherever you like it. Okay. Then you can take these out if you put markers down. Well, Dizzle has his markers, so I'm going to take these out. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to come into building parts. You're going to go into roofs. You're going to come down to the trims, and you're going to grab Nightly Par Parapet 3. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is how you normally would put it on a structure, but you're going to turn it around. You want it backwards. Okay. And then where you had those, where I had those markers is basically where each one of these is going to go. Okay. And then before we do the next step, you want to make sure those are, are creating a corner in each one. Sometimes Dizzle has messed it up where it's not, and it'll mess up your build. Not anything major, it is fixable, but at least you want to check that, okay? 
now we're gonna go into fences and this is from the the lion's knight kit all right this is your nightly railing corner and you're gonna turn it so the edges are coming out and you're gonna nudge it each way until it's red and then it turns green okay again this is the part that dizzle has messed up before too so make sure this is correct because otherwise it will mess up your fire pit be off by probably half a square if anything okay so there's that okay and now right here we'll do these part and you're going to duplicate that three more times after we do this once all right so you're going to come into floors we're going to grab nightly thin floor i think that is number two and you're going to put one down in front of that and then you're going to put one on one on top and then nudge it back so it's up against the uh, the trim okay so it creates that step this allows you to ex extinguish as well as it allow you to drop stuff in there to burn that you don't want okay so again we're going to repeat this three more times very simple fire pit guys but again you know dizzle he always tries to come up with something new for each kit and here is a new one All right, we can take these out. I'm gonna use the ax actually, it goes quicker. This one needs to make a new one. This one's getting worn out. All right. And then now we go back to floors and you're gonna go grab the nightly floor number one. It's the four by four by one. And you're gonna place one of those in each corner. I don't know why it's raising up. Doing it again. All right, and we're almost done. And I believe we're gonna come into, is it in clutter? No, I think it's in sculptures. Yeah, there, there you go. You go into decorations, sculptures, and you're gonna come down to medium and you're gonna grab a noble standard pole. I don't know is that part of this majestic manor so i think that is that might be from regular castle and there you go that is how i am doing fire pit again you can see it over there you can see it here now in front of this brand new uh, custom structure that we did guys again i'll take you a walk around I'm going to assume you guys want a tutorial on this. Uh, I think I'm going to do the tutorial on these structures first over here. So you can get used to building these. For those that have been around my videos a while, you'll know basically how the, these work. But for the, for the new folks that have uh, joined us, I will do that. Do a tutorial on that. Uh, as well as I'll do a tutorial on Dizzle storage sheds. Because I have three, of, three versions of those for this kit. And that'll give me time then to get this uh, mocked up. We'll probably do it over here. Again, I'll take you around. Did a little bit of decorations. Okay. Nice little courtyard. Again, this has plenty of storage, guys. This was definitely made with the intent to put in a survival village, which Dizzle will. I told you in the last video, guys, I can already envision a base of a village. Not just a, a, a base like that up there, but a full build with this. Okay. This again, we've learned this already from previous build. We brought it in. We are able to fit four of the large chests, so you can put four of the grand chests for sure. Bringing in this element from over there. Not not a huge tower, but we do have a tower in here now. We did the L shape just like that. And then from that and that, we brought that in from here, guys. I love this build. I am, I am ready to build a village just like we did Log Cabin, guys, and this right here. I love these cozy builds. All right, so there you go. Hope that uh, Fire Pit helps you out with your build as well as if this gives you inspiration, guys. Again, doing this helps with this. That was the whole intent, all right? Thanks for watching, and Dizzle will catch you on the next one.